Well, the Fed's latest beige book Wednesday pointed to a slowing but stable U.S. economy. Joining me now with the highlights from the report is Catalyst host Madison Mills. And Maddie, let's start broad here. What even is the Fed beige book and why is it so important when analyzing the state of the U.S. economy? Yeah, Ali, thanks so much. So the Beige Book is a report published by the Federal Reserve that summarizes current economic conditions across the 12 Federal Reserve districts you can see here behind me. And it's published eight times a year. It's based on a lot of qualitative information. So interviews, questionnaires, instead of that numerical data that we report on every week. So what did we learn from the most recent report? We got a lot of insight into a few key areas of the economy. First up here, labor. Employment increasing slightly during the period Many districts reported lower worker turnover and limited layoffs, but demand for workers eased a bit as well, with hiring focused on replacing workers that left rather than growing the whole pie. Now, a few districts did know challenges with hiring skilled laborers in certain fields like home improvement and manufacturing as well. Next up, the big one, inflation. Most districts reported selling prices increasing at a slight or moderate pace during the period, but some prices of products like eggs and dairy reported to have increased more sharply. Consumers feeling the pinch on that end of things as well. Now, the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia noted that higher income shoppers, they were actually becoming more price sensitive following a trend that's already been seen amongst the lower and middle income folks. So certainly something to monitor there. And finally, we've got housing. The report noted the market activity did hold up. Inventory continued to expand in a lot of the nation. That's good news given the importance of housing supply and bringing down those prices. Home values largely held steady. But officials found that some would-be buyers still hesitant to come off the sidelines because of uncertainty just around those mortgage rates and also a lack of affordable housing. Another topic top of mind across the districts, of course, the election. Several districts cited that election as a source of uncertainty or a factor that was causing delays in investing, hiring, and purchasing decisions. The election was noted 15 times in this page book alley. Maddie, thank you so much. It's a great breakdown, especially as we know the economy continues to be top of mind. Appreciate it.